Hello, how are you? We're thanks. To, I'm in the great company here, Tony O'Loughlin. And uh, that was a, a little waltz, Tony, wasn't it? A little waltz. Somebody's way, cut the mugongas. Oh, lovely, yeah. Just, it was lovely. There was a right, a right happy bounce off. Yeah. And I'm, I, I'm delighted to talk to you. Thank you all. We know each other a little bit. A long we, time I know, yeah. but I never met you. We never, reality. We, well, this will be, the, this will be reality now. A few now. weeks or Yeah, we were from Oliver O'Connell's house. We're back again in Oliver's house. Uh, the, uh, thanks to Oliver for allowing us the space to do the interviews. I be, I, I'm interested in you because... You're, you're, you've a, you've a very you're the only one on it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have a, I, I love accents, and you have a way of talking. You're an Ennis Diamond man. Ennis Diamond man, yeah. And did, did you start playing music in Ennis Diamond at an early age? Or? I started playing music around eight years of age in Ennis Diamond. No, my grandfather bought me a tin whistle and I would tax seat tin whistle, and I used to be playing away with it. And my grandfather couldn't play but he was a great leader and no to go with music he had and now how he came by the music was in our own house at home where I was born and reared and uh, there used to be small little house tents and the two Paddy and John Clover used to come down there years and years no I don't remember them at all they were just before me and we'd have one maybe once a month or something like that and that's how the music started and I suppose because the Lilton it's possibly the best way to learn music as a child because the nya is in the Lilton yes, yes, more yes, than yes, it would Lilton. be in some, t- some yes, musicians. Right, yeah. Because when somebody is Lilton and they're happy and they're walking around the house Lilton, there's a little bit of a new, something in the music, isn't there? There is so indeed. There so is. when you started playing, you'd felt, you'd felt that, I suppose. I felt that in me, and I, could, I was able to play every note and draw out every note. You know, mm-hmm. right, and I, I never played a fest did. Yeah, after yeah, that, yeah you, you know, never needed to. I never needed to. Yeah. But after a number of years then, my grandfather was always saying to me, Do you know, Tony, you want to upgrade a bit to buy an accordion. He just said, I never play an accordion. Are you what he said? So he came into school to me with an SNK, an awful bed in, like today for all the world. And um, we went down to John Cattles in the side, which was literally getting married in, um, in the statement. And But he used to sell everything. Everything. And there was a heap of instruments in the, win- in the window. So I bought the car, I bought the. Bought the Black that button card in for seven pound and fifty shillings. It's expensive enough, I suppose. It's expensive enough that yeah. Day. Yeah, I was I was about twelve at the I was doing yeah. to school. Eleven or twelve that day. Yeah. And I used to be inside in the room playing it away, playing away, you have to hear the shot. Go out in the air, go out in the air, Tony. Don't be making noise in here. My father used to be up there, my grandfather used to be by my side. He liked it. And we used to have a big fight, he loved it. Yeah, he loved yeah, it. Nice. And that's where I kinda of picked it up. But when I started playing the one, it was the fashion to play music around my place. There was no music around my place. And is that in this time in town? In, in, well, it was in this time in town. There was a lot of bands like it. Pat Madigan's band, Jack Madigan, you probably heard of all of them. Uh, Mickey, there was a Mickey, Mickey someone up Churchill. There was about another team band in this town. But, but as, as far as but playing for pleasure, like just playing a few tunes? No, they were. Um, they used to play in the town hall in this time for Cadiz in there. But they were mostly kind of jiving bands, you know. It was yeah. traditional music. Mm. It wasn't really traditional music they were playing. So they were you a bit lost? I was a bit lost in that time. Now, there was no one around I could go to. No one? No one. No one. This would be this the late 60s? The late, the, the late 60s. Now, my father spoke to a few people, but they were so occupied doing something else they hadn't time to teach me. But I kept tearing away with it anyway. So how did you know, you, or did, I, were you doing it right? I didn't know what I was doing it right or wrong. That right. was the thing. And, it, and when I would hear music in the radio, I said, Tony, you're playing it okay, but the sound is not right. It's not right. Mm-hmm. So then anyway, I decided, I, I went to a market in the same my grandfather, and we bought a more target. A more target. And some of the tunes when I was I couldn't I couldn't get it, couldn't get it. But I figured out that if I blew out with the more target, it was the same as pressing the note And I learned a lot of tunes by doing that. I That's played with the more target and then I played it. That's great. In the cardi. Great. So even at that 
going up to 13 or 14 or 15. I wasn't even happy with the sound. But you the were into it? I was. Yeah. But the sound wasn't right. I knew the sound wasn't right. And I didn't know any how to be. So, Nucus Gary, Martin Gary, he was the drummer with the Kifanora Kelly Band. And we were great friends. We used to do an awful lot of shooting together. Nucus? Nucus, yeah. That was his name. Oh, he was an old character. Mm. God, Tony, he said, I have a man for you, he said. And who is it? Peter Griffin, he said. Oh, great. He's just one father. Yeah, yeah. One of the box players that was in County Clare at the time. Mm. So I went to look to Peter anyway, and he'd be Paul or Soprani. Mm -hmm. And um, he showed me for maybe five or six weeks, maybe over a number of weeks, no, not together now. Mm -hmm. And um, he showed me what in there was, a beer. Mm. Where to get the beer? Give me the scale. Mm -hmm. So he taught me that. Mm -hmm. And then I bought a big pot of soprani. After that. And I started from there then. And that was improving, improving, improving. When I put on the radio, I, I hear uh, a real RG. I was there to kind of play it. Yeah. Which was over, and the sound felt the same. I understand. And you know I was on the right track. So Tony, you're, 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 it sounds to me like you're sitting, you're going to Peter Griffin, and you're, you're working away on your own. It sounds a bit lonesome, like, compared to these days when, when, when young kids are, they're, they're, they're socialising through music. It, and they're it was lonesome, it was, it was, I'm, it was hard work. And it's, 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 so, a, it's kind of fascinating to me that in County Clare, at that stage, there wasn't, there wasn't much music. In, in, no. in, in North Clare. No, no. No, yeah. the music wasn't there, which was far away. No, we couldn't go. We wouldn't have, we had no motor centre to go. Yeah. For, but around Ennis Diamond, there was no session as such. There was a session, oh yes, I forgot to tell you this. There was a session in Manor's Bad. There was Jerry Hague, and there was about 10 people playing in there mm -hmm. of uh, a Friday night. I was to walk in from Ennis Diamond, out the back door, my father, used to tell my father, I'd walk into town, up mm -hmm. the back road, mm -hmm. And they stand outside the pub maybe for an hour and a half. What age are you now? 70 just. No, not now, no, but I mean at that stage. <laughs> 70, I forget. But you're like you're 16 or 17. Is that I was when you're 15, 15 oh, or right. 16. Lovely. And you'd be sitting there. And I'd sit outside the window. Lovely. That's and, lovely. And sometimes I wouldn't hear it when the door would open. I was hoping more people would go in or come out. Yeah. They could hear it. You'd hear it better. And I'd hear it better. That's absolutely beautiful. And I'd go home and, and I'd try to try to copy that music. That yeah, absolutely be. beautiful. Yeah. Well. But the other problem I had then was, when I start going out to, to sessions, when I got a car, the problem I had, I learned an awful lot of tunes in single tunes. I mentioned Oliver Connors, mm -hmm. a good while ago back. Mm. A lot of the tunes I had were single tunes. Mm. Now, I have all the tunes, but if you were playing with, say, for the, what the, say, the Fox Hunter and the Books of Baltimore, mm -hmm. When they play the fox hunter, I'd have to pause for a second. I understand. For the man of my right hand to come in. Yeah, 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 yeah. That type of thing. Yeah. And that was an awful setback to me. It was, because the box player should be lead for the dancers, I suppose, and, and it, they can't and, be a pause. And, you know, I still have it in my head. Is that, and, and I, well, yeah, and if you think too much about it when it's coming, you will have to pause anyway, because it's in your head, yeah, I know. Head, yeah, and, 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 and that's, the, that's the thing, do you know what? When did you have the accident with your hand, Tony? I had the accident in the early 80s. Oh, so you had to... Did you have to start all over again? I just, I didn't You've only the use of two fingers, have I you? Two fingers. Mm -hmm. Give them two there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They were broken. Car, what car, what car, happened? Car, car crash, was it? Car crash. And, and um, I didn't play between 12 and 15 years. I didn't play two years. Years. I had 12 operations in my hand. I took tinges from here, tinges from here, and my behind my backside for skin grafting. And um, I had to learn to play again then. No, the problem I had. During the 12 or 15 years. I couldn't play it in recent Were you heartbroken? I was heartbroken. Well, well, I know you'd be heartbroken because life is hard, but music was important to you. It was very important to me. Mm -hmm. and it's start, who you are like sometimes. And I started doing a bit of singing in it. Oh, yes. I yes. Started, I'd go up to sing and I should go out in and sing another song. Well, anywhere I go. But yeah. the music was still in me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still in me. Well, at least you had to sing. I had to sing with that. Will you sing a song? I mean. Um, <coughs> Just to tell you that this is Tony O'Loughlin from Ennis Diamond, and I'm actually enjoying myself no end. We were meant to go to 20 minutes, we probably do about three hours. Uh, I stood once on the harbour as a ship was going out on a voyage. To a poor fellow to see, 
I watched the blue clad sailor as he bid his last farewell to the girls that he loved so tenderly. When the fields are white with daisies and the roses bloom again, let love life in your eyes more brightly born. I remember, sweetheart, only, and remember when you're lonely, when the fields are white with daisies, I return. I saw the teardrops falling as the last goodbye was said. It's a sorrow of a party I must learn. When I hear the sailor promise to a lassie now in tears, when the fields are white with daisies, I return. When the fields are white with daisies and the roses bloom again, let love life in your eyes more brightly born. I remember, sweetheart, only. And remember when you're lonely, when the fields are white with daisies, I return. When the fields are white with daisies, I return. It's lovely. No. Lovely. When the fields are white with daisies, heard you hear before? Where, where did you come from? A great Swedish singer, Sean McMahon. He died during the course. That's right. A lovely man. He gave me that song. Well, it, you do a nice job. He's a it? lovely man. The sad songs are, are the best. Uh, yeah, yeah. You did lovely. Uh, uh, what do you think of the music these days? Are you enjoying it? I really enjoy the movie, but I think a lot of the music is very, very fast. Mm-hmm. There, there, there seems to be no feeling a lot of it. And it's mostly only when there were groups groups yeah, of yeah. players mm. in big sessions. Mm. Do you know what? And what an old man said to me back in Milton one time, he said, um, they're playing it if they didn't like it. And our young people, it wasn't the case, but just I understand. Yeah, the feel. You know, the, and, I've and heard the, that expression, and, and it's a know, powerful expression. Yeah, and what I have noticed in as well is the young people are playing in groups now in sessions. Mm. They're all set dancers, mm. and they're playing the music the way they play for set dancers. Mm. There's a difference playing for set dancers and playing for army sessions. That's right. Yeah, that's and, right. As an individual, and it, otherwise. It's, it's just booming. It well, it's, it's definitely booming. I mean, everybody's playing. There's everybody's music everywhere, playing. you know. And, 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 they're, 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 and because of COVID, we've had to find different ways of different way, finding our place right, to play. Right, right, where, right. where have you found her? Did you, how did you get on for the two years? Well, I had no problem with the two years. But musically? I played did. music at home yeah. nearly every day. I had cards mm-hmm. left out in the, out, out in the floors and on three of them. You know you're dead right. And, if, you and if, I went into, yeah. if I went into the kitchen, there was one there, yeah. we went to the sitting room, I remember we don't, there was another one there. Because Matt Millay, Matt the chief is. Mm. I dived with Matt for about 12 years. Oh, right, the diving, yeah, yeah. He, he was in it for 12 years. Yeah, yeah. And I dived an awful lot with him. And he saw always telling me, he said, you'll never learn music. He said, if we have the flute left in each room, he That's said. That's right. You're practicing without you realize it at all. That's right, yeah. If and it's I in the case, you'll never take it off. You'll never take it off. Never, never take it off. Yeah. Yeah. I'll always remember, I'll always remember that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But how I got back into the music going again now, was there were great friends of my years ago, Michael Manny and Peter Hawk, the two passed away yeah, yeah, from yeah. Milton Banda. And was Pete Hawk from Milton Banda? No, that was Dunbeg. No, yeah. Pete Dunbeg, but he yeah. lived in Milton. He, lived, he played upside down. He played the box upside down. White box. That's the kind of yeah, yeah. upside down box. Yeah, that's the kind. Yeah, but yeah. he played in the Cubs come on. Yeah. And I was going up and down and not going. And this he came to he came to the house one day, and he said to Nora, he said, Tony or no, he said. Um, can you, have, you, have, you, have you a box there? Have you, I see his box there. Give me, I want to know him. He said, you know, give it to me. He said, and if you want to, he said, come down towards the United Brand and I'll give it to him. He said, yeah. and then I go back this way. 
and he got to the play. And play Isn't that a nice story that he, yeah. he, he, he thought about oh, you? He did, and he kind of had the philosophy to know how to get you, how to, like a fisherman. <coughs> and he, 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 he'd always say, shove you near me, Johnny. And he, he give me, he played that. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, no, if I was... Why, were you <coughs> lacking in confidence? Exactly. Like, yeah. Well, if, you play, so, if you can see my hand, no. Yeah. See, do you know what I'm saying? If I hit that note, then the, my, my feet wouldn't go down yeah. far enough. So, so I'm hitting that note. So hit that note. Yeah. So he used to say to me, Tony, that's going to happen. And I pull up the coffee. Yeah. And he made that eight bit of extra noise. And I got my confidence back that way then. And were you playing well? I was playing. Yeah, well, yeah, I, it I, must be an awful oh, jump. It was an awful jump, an awful draw back. Yeah. An awful draw back. And you hadn't played at all in the, in the time you were... You, no. Yeah. No. So what no, was no. it like the first year? The first year playing again? Well, do you know, when I go, when I would go out for a session, I used to look forward. Mm. My ears were ringing. Mm. I was looking forward to, to going back again. Great. The final Great. Thursday. And I heard so much within a number of years. And when, I, when I'd be playing, if I had some tune I didn't, really hadn't inside in the head, I'd wake at 3 o'clock in the morning, I'd get up. Yeah. You couldn't be stopped. No, I couldn't be so stopped. And there's no. still no stopping. Do you know me at Oliver O'Connell? <laughs> a number of years ago, after the initial league, I'd be going again. Yeah. 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 No, it's because of Oliver too that we can we're both sitting here. Yeah. And... Um, Nowadays, there's a, there's a lot of demand on musicians. There is an awful lot, oh, there is. But it's a nice thing. It's a lovely thing. Yeah. I, 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 from, from, from what I know you, Tony, and, and I, I'm well aware of you. Yeah. We've met a few times, and, but yeah. I'm aware of you. That's the great thing about music, you'd always hear about people. You're very much involved in the Ennis Diamond community. In, 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 I'm in, very involved in the courts, isn't it? Yes, I yes. Was second, I was the first secretary in the court in this time. Very mm-hmm. involved. And of course, we have two great stars there, Jory and yeah. Michael Yellow. Yeah, well, that's, that, well, that, well, that's a great team. That's a great, two great men. I just want him with Jory and anything, anything where he ever went, he'd always text me, Tony, I'll be here tonight, I'll be there tomorrow, there's something on, he'd always text me. The, 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 yes. the, the, it, it's a pity sometimes there's not more of that. Ah, he, 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 you he know? never let you down. And when, when you, if you went, if you went then you didn't, you wouldn't be wanting, he'd cheat call you. And isn't it funny, we, we, we started a journey where you were on your own in your house playing away. Yes. And now you're bringing people in to the sessions. You're yes. encouraging younger people to I come and play. So, it, it, it. will you play another tune? I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. This is great, Tony. Great. No, you might hear a nod noise. Miss a nod noise, but that's you have to say. Thank <laughs> you. 
for two fingers. Not bad for seven fingers. <laughs> and a brain, a right good brain. You're a happy man, Tony. No, you have, but, you have but, a smile on your face and but, you have a bounce in your music. You can understand, you can understand where you might hear a little well, half note. You see, I, I, I wouldn't be looking for things do, do, like that. Do, do you know what I'm saying? Well, I know what you're I, saying, I, but you see, what you don't understand is there's a lot of people that play feckin' perfectly and they're the most boring musicians you could ever, ever deal with. Yeah. And they have every triplet and you nearly know where they're going to come. But you have a smile on your face that when you walk into a pub and, you, and there's a bounce off your playing, that's what we're looking for. Yeah, yeah. Because that's going to... If, if, if you're not... If you don't get the man at the bar... Like, I often played in, in Curfin and th th there'd be men at the bar and there wouldn't be... They'd be back to the music. Yeah. But they'd be listening to every note. And... You'd, I used to play with Breed or Garmin, a flute player. Yes, yes, yeah. And Breed, Breed was a, a strong, she wasn't a fast player. player yeah, no, but she'd change maybe from, from in, into a tune, and you'd nearly know they were all listening because yeah. the left shoulder would go up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something <laughs> as small as that, <laughs> or the foot would start, yeah, or there yeah. might be a tiny twitch. Yeah. And that's, if you can't do that, you're, you know, you can have all yeah. the, you have an ability to bounce along with the music. Yeah. And, 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 and and to be happy and make people happy and that's a very yeah. a very important gift I, I, I'm delighted to have this chat with you will, will you sing another song before before we, we finish up I will yeah do you know we, um, a lovely man passed away a few months ago Michael Farty the Piper <coughs> and he used to sing this in the song and I'm going to sing it for him today I could start to know. <coughs> no fins gather round, pay attention, and exile so lonely am I. I'm out here in Boston, great city, far away from the Emerald Isle. I was born and raised in old Ireland. And free from all trouble in care. In the parish of Kilmory Isle Bricken, in the west coast of Sweet County Clare. As a boy in Kilmory Isle Bricken, every Sunday my parents and me went to mess in the chapel in Quilty. They call it the star of the sea. They did likewise in Coor and in Monarch to pray for our fathers above, to shower down his blessing upon us and fill out our hearts with his love. On Sunday in our native parish, you could sunbathe in Seafield West Strand, go fishing at on a Gwerok, and in Dulux motor water so grand. You could climb to the top of Dunogan, and from that lovely spot you could see the whole parish <coughs> at Kelmory Isle Bricken, from the handbag to Tlahani in Sheen. Gaelic football was our favourite pastime back in those fun days of yore. Way down in the field every evening you could find twenty stalwarts or more. On Sunday they play for Kilmory against Milton, Coratler or Kirush. Dressed out in the red and green jerseys which often brought fame and renown. Those memories from my mind are fading, but I'll try to refresh them once more. By seeing again that beloved old place, which my heart is well always adore. So tomorrow I'll go back to old Ireland, the rest of my life to been there. In the parish of Kenmore Isle Bricken, in the west coast of Sweet County Clare. In the parish of Kenmore Isle Bricken, in the west coast of Sweet County Clare. Thank you. Thank you.
there's a uh, if I was coming now from Africa or America or Australia and I arrived in Ireland and I wanted to find Tony O'Loughlin where would we find you playing where do you think it's going to go now with the with the with the new presence and the new energy that's arrived well I spent the most of my life going to the Blondie Meetup yeah on a Thursday was it on a Thursday night yeah yeah. yeah yeah and and um, we saw what the Maroney's in Mullock and I asked the puppy into Woody Daly when he was there. Yeah. Go to Cooley's. And uh, very seldom I got him to um, Dolan. And the reason being, that time I thought I wasn't good enough for him. Yeah. Because, you know, it's like, it's like we say, turn your locks and take on Joe Boat. I had that thing inside my head. That, that's gas. There's not many would, would say that, Tony, yeah. that you yeah. didn't feel uh, good but, enough to. But one thing, I had made great friends in music. Jesus, all over the year. Do you know? And people want me along and they say, Tony, sit in there, Tony, go in there. Just don't be worried about it. Go in there and one player. Mm-hmm. They call him for no offences. Mm-hmm. He'd bring me, go in there. They mind them. You're as good as the best of them. Mm-hmm. That means an awful lot to but me. But you are. Means you an are. awful lot to me. And you know, I'd say, uh, the first place I ever played by myself or sang a song was below for a charity Concept Lord Almeida. And I would genuinely say only for Peter and Michael Manny, I'd never have done it. Mm-hmm. And it meant so much to me. But you've done it for other people since. You I know, have, that's, 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 that, I suppose that's what makes. That, you know, when, when, when we work together as music yeah, musicians, yeah, yeah. it makes life awfully easy. You know, sorry, and, and I know for a fact because I've heard it, that you are encouraging people to to come in play and, and, yes, and, and, yes, and making sure yes, they get yes, a, a chance yes, to sing. Yes. So what, what happened to you is, is and, and I'm glad it happened to you because but you obviously felt insecure because of your accident. I really did. Yeah, well, I so understand insecure. that. I, yeah, did, I, did I didn't understand really. That. I didn't really. Well, Do you know, and I even tried to sit there and say, well, yeah, yeah, no yeah, 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 yeah. When I was doing the sit and go around the circle, as I used to call it up in the old place and go, I get a Mae Vaughan, I get dizzy. Do you know what a Mae Vaughan? A Mae Vaughan in your head, as they call it. Be dizzy, do you know what dizzy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, I could never get it out of it. Yeah, it was. It it, it seems to me now, sitting with you, that you've you've got everything you want at the moment. You're flying. In the last number of years, the last number of years I have now. And I've met more musicians, you're nearly 70, you said. Yes, daughter. I've met met more musicians of, of, I'm 63, of this age, that are just coming right now. Yes. And it means more to them than being fucking all stars at, at, at 21. Do you know what I mean? I do. It's now but, that it's, 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 but, a, it's but like... What I have learned over the year for all the... See, all the young misses down around not there, around in the stadium there, you know. Mm. Like a map book now in a nice box right. bell. Mm. I stopped being into Milton when he was 11 and 12 mm. and 13. Mm-hmm. But over the years gone by then, they'd always ring you. Mm. Even the Killians in Milton. They'd all sound like a curtain. Mm. There's always in you say, Tony, it takes you, come on, there's a yoke I know. Mm-hmm. That means so much to me. That's lovely, you know. No, I, I might be able to teach him or drive him for Andover because I, know. I used to always get it. When we'd be going anywhere, yeah. then I would, when you're in Michael Manning, did you ring Tony? That's it. And uh, the only reason that I used to say to myself, the only fucking reason they're ringing me, you know, is because I wouldn't drink it. I'd bring mm-hmm. him home, you see. Mm-hmm. But, but that was the crap of Jesus. The then, first thing to do, ring Tony first. Yeah. And I used to bring all the young people home, and today, mm. every one of the young people appreciates it. Yeah, isn't that lovely? Isn't and that just lovely? the way maybe, I maybe I couldn't have given him a whole lot of music, but I brought him where the music was. Yeah, yeah, well, that's, 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 that's super. Yeah. Tony, you're lucky, I, I've, enjoyed our, I've enjoyed our chat very much. Well, Owen, thank you very much. Very much. And well, I you, really appreciate it. But you, I, I appreciate it. Exactly. And it, it's, it's, it, it, uh, this will be going up on YouTube, Tony. And uh, I think it's nice that people are, We'll get an, uh, an idea of the kind of man you are because sure. I, I tell you, if it were not like you, we'd have a great outcome. I would probably ramble away, but you're not quite Rambling right away now. is great, that's what I'm looking for. Will you finish with a tune? Really and thanks again, I thanks very much. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
थैंक यू ऑल बॉय